introduce yourself? Oh, I'm Cameron, and I am a student at Martinsville High School. We've had some pretty interesting board meetings this year. Our country's going in the wrong direction. Just recently, I've been advised that there's a program instituted in our local school system called critical race theory. There is no critical race theory that's part of our curriculum. There's so much confusion around critical race theory. We are teaching it. Unfortunately, we are. I don't understand the whole thing about CRT. I'm not sure anyone does. Do you know what critical race theory is? I have a basic understanding of <laughs> I have done very minimal research into it because most of the time that I do have to talk about it is that people are telling me that it's being taught in our classes. A few citizens will be like, hey, our school's teaching this. I'm like, it isn't. It really isn't. We're, we're just simple pe people trying to get a basic education. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Monica Nicole Hutton. Um, I'm a longtime resident, first time attendee. So, so I always thought like our small town, very reserved, off the radar, likely going to be just fine. I mean, I graduated from here, so I thought no big deal, nothing, nothing to see here, right? Until I saw that assignment. Really concerned with the freshman honors English course. They are being instructed. They're given assignments about um, disobeying your parents' rules. I'm not okay with that. So it's just that the social emotional learning being used in a way to break down the familial environment and, and the, the foundation of having a family or having family values. And that's what I took from that and that's why it was concerning. To, to what end? My only speculation just from what I've researched and compared and watched interviews of people is it's a stepping stone towards a, a larger political agenda that is on the path to socialism and communism. But they're not going to tell you that. To them, to a student, it's just an assignment. They need to get through a few generations. They have to weed out those of us who had a former background to a point that those in the system know nothing else. And that's how they did it in Cuba and that's how they'll do it here if we don't say something. So we have a lot of more of your like small town vibes. Most of our community is um, below the national average in how much they make each year. A lot of people don't ever leave Martinsville. It was small town, so I hated it. Just like any kid in a small town. I wasn't in the upper echelon of the community at that point in my life. Um, definitely lived in the trailer park and Stayed involved in school, got a scholarship, went to IU, got a degree, moved out. Couldn't wait to get out of here. Uh, problem is, I married my high school sweetheart. Being from this particular town is kind of like, you're, you're stigmified, right? Like that Martinsville town, they're so racist. Like that's how it was when I was in high school here. So you, you learn that it didn't matter where you came from or who you were. If you told people you were from Martinsville, you were a racist. I've been told that I was racist just because I grew up here. That doesn't make me racist just because you say it. CRT says we're all racist. I would say it's racist in the sense that this country has substantive racism, but I wouldn't say that it's racist as in that it's more racist than the next town or the next city even. Do you talk to your son about race? No. I talk to him about people have different perspectives. So no, I don't talk to him specifically about race, but I do talk to him about understanding his environment and the words that he says. What do you think about the idea of systemic racism? <clears throat> I don't. I, 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 I think I think it's an ideology that is trying to be forced on us. I want to be a communication instructor for a company. For me, I need to know about diversity and stuff because otherwise I'm not very helpful to my company because <laughs> very large population has some form of minority in which they're a part of. We have in our country a very large problem with someone not being your normal white heterosexual cisgender male. If 
like you don't fit into the, like the perfect line of a person our country doesn't usually like seeing you i feel like it's definitely on a change which is a good thing change is a good thing and i think that it's not happening in the places that probably need it more to happen like for instance martinsville none of that is really changing in martinsville it just has happened to have the part of the population that doesn't see it fully but there are people there who i would say do want martinsville to be more diverse to be more thriving and then there's some people who i wouldn't just say it's just about race but more in general they want everything to be the same as the 1950s there's some clear problems with that so one assignment is not a big deal but the next year it's continuing to build so when you've been in that platform for the six years you know six through 12th grade you got that entire programming that can change the world. And, and it's a matter of if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. The community resource group is to help people understand how can you find it? Where do you see it? A lot of parents don't have time to get engaged or understand what they can do. If I can't be in the superintendent's job to help do that, then I'll educate people and give them the information they need to fight the fights they want to do. And the whole point of CRT is to undermine basic American values, the pride that you may have in being an American. We're not fighting back, but in a hundred years, we're going to look back and say, man, I wish we had fought back. Why didn't we see this come? And communism in various forms is coming at us full over. Absolutely. We, I'm an old veteran, and I don't know how to fight this. I know somebody that does, and I think I'm looking at it. Thank you. So this, this is Thank you for your fight, and we're here to fight too.